Are you finding a way to improve order picking productivity by reducing travel time? Or are you having difficulties looking up for an item in the warehouse? Rack management is the solution where you can have quick access to the storage of items and increase warehouse picking efficiency. Let me show you how. Firstly, go into inventory and click on warehouses. By default, all merchants will have one default warehouse. And if you have two or more warehouses, you can click on this more button and select manage warehouse. Click on this add warehouse button to create the warehouses according to your business needs. Next, we will create rack groups. A rack group is to group multiple racks together, whether it's a specific shelf, zone or floor. It helps in organizing orders and speed up the picking process. To create rack group, click on manage rack group. Then click on add new rack group. Then enter the rack group name. Once done, click save. You can create multiple rack groups as needed. And now we will talk about rack. Rack is a storage location of an item which will be listed on the pick list for pickers to retrieve from. Now to add rack, click on the green add rack button. Then enter the rack name, select the rack group, then click on save. And if you want to create racks in bulk, then you can click on the more button and select import rack. From there, you can download a sample template. Then based on the template, you can create new racks and enter the rack group as well. After that, import the Excel back into SiteGiant later. Please note that the import method is used for bulk creation of new racks and to bulk assign the new rack to the existing rack groups. Once you have your racks and rack groups created and ready, you can then proceed to assign your inventory items into racks. Go into inventory, all inventory items, click into one of the item, scroll and look for warehouse info and then click on the add rack button. From there, you can select the rack that you want and if the item is stored in more than one rack, you can click on the add rack button again and select the other rack and enter the stock allocated to. You can arrange the sequence of the rack by clicking and dragging on the leftmost icon. The topmost rack will be the main rack. In this case, the inventory from the main rack will be deducted first. Once it reaches zero, then it will deduct from the second rack. Please take note that the warehouse info is showing sellable stock, which is the quantity that is available to sell. As for rack, it will be showing stock on hand, which is the current quantity that you have in your warehouse. Once the rack are entered correctly, click on save. Besides adding rack to items individually, you can also do it by batch. Click on the batch edit button, select item rack assignment, select all warehouse and filter according to your preference. Once done, click on generate. Once the file has been generated, click on download. Once you open up the file, you can then enter the rack into the items accordingly in the Excel. Once you have updated the file, you can then save it. To upload the file, Go back into all inventory items, click on batch edit, select upload. Click on this section here to upload your file. Once you have selected your file, click on next. And if there's any error, the system will show you which ISKU is having that problem. And if you proceed, you will then update the error-free data into the system. One thing to note here is the batch edit upload is only applicable to add item to rack only. Please ensure that the rack is assigned correctly to the item before uploading. Once you have uploaded the file, you can go back into Inventory, Warehouses, and from here you are able to view all the inventory item by rack level. When you print pick list, it will list out the items to be picked for the order based on the sorting of rack to have a smooth picking process. I hope this video gives you ideas in managing your racks inside Giant. Thank you for watching the video.